Fellow Toastmasters, I'm going to bring you down upon a journey from long ago. A journey that brought a young man from having a normal life down into a little bit of insanity. I was 13 years old. Life was not going well. I had been in a freak accident which caused osteomyelitis of the spine. That is a severing of the vertebrae that was uh, my vertebrae between the third and fourth. It was a troubling time as I could not get from bed to chair without help. Prior to that, I was playing football. I was a defensive end. I was in the choir and I was a soloist. This put an end to all that. Mama was raising three of my siblings, and the fourth one was on their way. Additionally, my father was gone prior to me getting up in the morning and often came back after dark when I was in bed. I was already a loner. I didn't have many friends. So when I ended up with this accident, I ended up not having even the slightest bit of human contact. Darkness and despair seemed to be the theme of the day. Mama told me that religion would, cause, would solve all my issues. So one day I walked into that church. I sat down in that pew not knowing exactly what I was expecting. Answers maybe? A God who cared? Those answers would not come. As I sat in the silence, I tried to find some sort of a comfort, some sort of a word that just might bring me out of this depression. The scripture, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Was all I could think of. The stillness remained. I knew there were places I could go that would allow me to have medication that would alter my brain and places that would go, that would take me out of society until government decided I was fit to return. Those would come later. But for now, I dealt with the sadness. I dealt with the darkness. As time went by, we, the world became more and more dark and a plan started to hatch. Maybe I wasn't meant to be here. Maybe the world would be better if I wasn't around. Mama was smart. She knew how to lock up the drugs. And guns and knives and that type of thing were not available to somebody like me, especially at the age of 13. However, I knew where the gangs were. I knew where the border wars were. What would happen if I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. How would I feel as lifeblood dripped into the ground? Would mama cry so much? What would my neighbors think? What would society think? What would my church think? But at the end of the day, I knew one thing. I knew I was a coward and I couldn't go through with it. Tick tock, tick tock, life went on. And I, eventually I got out of the back brace and I, through some physical therapy, I was able to gain full use of my body. I had some friends, if you would call them that, but most of them were just tortured souls like myself. Knowing that silent existence that silent hell that we were all going through. It was still a dark time. Daddy was still gone all the time. Church and ministry were his theme of the day. Mama still was raising my siblings. She couldn't care about my own problems. But I survived. I kept moving forward. Where does that lead me today? I see myself in every crying child. I see myself in every casket that rolls down that church waiting for the final burial. 
I see myself and the half-crazed lunatics that come into my store begging for a tornado or a soda. And I remember, I remember those days. I remember the insanity. I remember the sadness. But for today, I survive. Today, I move forward. Today, I thrive. For how much longer, who knows? I know one day I will be walking down that path and that casket will be coming down for me. One day people will remember whether or not I was insane or whether I was part of reality. One day people will remember me for whatever I was or thought I was at the moment. But for now, I survive. But now, I thrive. Edgar Allan Poe said that insanity is for those who engage in it. I engaged with a brush of insanity. Maybe that was my reality. Life moves on. Tick tock. Tick tock. I move forward, and so does life. And when the time comes for it to end, hopefully the judge, jury, and executioner of all those who knew me will give me a favorable outcome. Thank you very much.